If you've ever had children or honestly ever been around children, then you know the truth of the opening words of Psalm 133. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. It's so much more pleasant, isn't it, when children are living together in unity, when they're getting on well, rather than screaming at one another, rather than trying to pull a car away from one another when there's 17 other almost identical cars in the same room. But of course, the psalmist isn't really writing about children here, is he? He's writing about, well, the children of God, how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters live together in unity. And it is much more pleasant when we live together in unity. It's much more pleasant when we aren't arguing and in strife over government decisions, over decisions on who should be sending children back to school, uh, over decisions on all kinds of issues, some very important, some not massively important, but actually none anything like as important as the thing that unites us, the thing that truly unites us, that we know that we have a father in heaven who has loved us, that we know that through the coming and the living and the dying and the rising of God's son, Jesus, we have been brought into his family. That by the uh, coming of the Holy Spirit to dwell among his people, we are united. And that by his strength, we can keep that unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. And so, sisters and brothers, let me encourage you to look to that big unity that we have because of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then all of those things that we might have different views and different convictions and different thoughts on. Yeah, we still hang on to those. But we are united. We are united in Christ. And this is good. And it is pleasant. It's good and it's pleasant for us, just like it's much more good. And it's much more pleasant for children when they're not squabbling, when they're not fighting, when they are getting on well and playing with one another and playing alongside one another. It's good for us too. It is good and it is pleasant for an unbelieving world to see the prayer of our Lord Jesus being fulfilled, that we would be one, just as Jesus Christ and his Father are one. And it is good and it is pleasant for our God to see his children dwelling together in unity.